What's up guys, welcome back to another video, it is me Trash Salsa, today we're going to be taking a look at another new fan. Yeah, uh, they just keep coming, don't they? This is my Vornado Model 8 810. Um, yeah. If you can tell, this is a rare fan. This is the only video on YouTube I can find of this fan. Literally. Yeah, the only other ones are a bunch of rebred fridges as Corvettes or something. This is the only one. So, let's get into it. So, I got this last weekend, Sunday, for 7 bucks at Goodwill. And I found one on eBay going for two forty five. so that's kind of a good deal. It's two-speed. Mind you, this is basically just a frigid with the Vornado name on it. Um, so, keep that in mind. I won't focus. It's three amps. I don't know why it doesn't really say it on there. But, um, it's two speeds. It's got two off positions, likely Eskimo. It's got a rubbery plastic handle. I mean, it's good quality. I took it, a, took it off and put it back on. It still looks fine. Side. There is no fan stand thing, which is I, I think is kind of weird. There's a Vornado logo. There's the other side again, the thing. There's the blades. There's me. Uh, so I saw the shaft was sticking out when I got it. That's actually kind of normal. I did move it to the end, as you can see. I had it on the end at least once, but I moved it back to the other end because I, th I think that's just where it's supposed to be. So, and this thing's super heavy, so I'm gonna have a fun time turning it. Uh, I don't. There's nothing on the bottom, but I can kind of show you the bottom. That right there is tape. These feet were like deteriorating, so I put clear tape over them. But the rest of the bottom of the fan's fine. There's no information on the bottom, and that's where the cord comes out of. This cord runs on the side here. I'm going to have a fun time turning this around. <clears throat> oh yeah, I love when that happens. Alright. Well, that's the best I could do. It's got... One motor brace, not two, which is weird. There's twisty tie things to hold the wires on. I don't know why they did this. They put the Vornado thing on the back. The front and back rail are actually identical. But since this one had some bubbles in it, I decided to make this the back rail. I don't like this because I actually got confused a number of times figuring out what side was the front. Which interrupted, you know, things I was trying to do. It's got a Westinghouse series motor. Not a normal Westinghouse motor. The Westinghouse motors, yeah, the normal one, like you might see in like an S223 or a P223 first gen. The series motors are the more powerful motors. You might see in like more of these type of fans with metal blades. The series motors are like the Westinghouse, like stronger grade motors. This one runs at three amps, which is the highest motor I have in the whole collection. The highest amperage. So, that's what the, usually uh, if you have one, you'd probably like say S-E-R and then have a day code. Mine didn't have the day code. I don't know why. I'm assuming it's like a 71 or something. But, yeah. But, the, it's, basically that's what it is. A Westinghouse series motor, if you're wondering. It says permanently, permanently lubricated. I guess that's kind of true. I haven't oiled this yet, and it still runs nice. Why is this doing this? Stop. So. And there is a cool startup sound. Man, that is a pain to turn around. Without further ado, here's Hi. Ton of air.
behind. Again, I never oiled this fan yet because there's no oil ports. And that's not a bad spin down considering so. Wow. So yeah, um, I do like this fan. I, I'm gonna run it overnight tonight because I ran it for a little while here and there and it seems to be all right. So I'm gonna try to run it overnight. And uh, I'll put it in, in the, the description on how that goes. But yeah, this thing is extremely powerful. I don't know how powerful. I mean, my Dominion is pretty powerful, but this kind of is neck and neck with that. So, but they're not, the this and the Dominion aren't in the same house. So I can't really test that. I'd have to, because I'm not my grandparents. I'd have to bring my Dominion here. And then that would be a pain. But yeah. And again, I'll show the inside, which I didn't really show. I will upload a, a cleaning video. I tried to record some of the servicing process, but it is hard without getting all the gunk on my phone. So I can only record here and there when my hands are clean. But yeah. <clears throat> and I'll do startup sounds and we'll end this so I don't make this review too long. All right. It's going to be really hard to do this because there's a lot of space between the motor and the grill. Whereas, like, my Wells Royal, I could get nice and personal. I think I'm going to put it right here. Here's high. That shook the grill. I don't know if you heard that, but it shook the grill. That was weird. Any day now blades i know you're lubricated but still all right now we're gonna do it from low i'll get i'll try to get a startup sound video out like i did with my wolves royal because there's no other way to do this so if you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in the next one and goodbye